Season 1, episode 29. I just watched this whole thing and forgot to record. Yeah, yeah, so I went back to it and it, it was not working. So I'm gonna go ahead and fake some reactions to what's going on here. But I might be reacted out. I'm like exhausted from what happened in the last one. See, now I know why he doesn't want them to go. I mean, back to live with him. Back after the Dragon Balls. But they did set up that motivation ahead of time to be a long-term recurring plot structure like we already knew it was coming back and now i remember this is lunch i forgot entirely she existed uh, when i reacted the first time now metro west is just like uh it's just a city right they're just going to hang out in the city he'll run into one at some point another adventure the wandering lake and I made a crack about Kiernan and then going into business, or something like that. And I said, dude, <laughs> to, to Mugen Yoshi. Oh, yeah, and he says it's for his, his granddaughter? That is really creepy. Wasting water, just like in Mad Max Fury Road. In that movie, they should have just handed out paper cups instead of pouring it all over them. And this guy is not the guy I thought the guy was. It's a different guy who's part of the same tribe as that guy. Damn. <laughs> Establishing lore. Pool party. Is that guy. There he goes. Oh, he's helping the people. Oh yeah, and so we got the reincorporation of two characters that showed up for other reasons. So that's again good longitudinal storytelling. Okay, that was that was, that was rewatching that episode. So we're back on the on the prowl. We had already set up this plot structure ahead of time before we went on the tournament side adventure thing, which turned out to be a big deal. So now we can see. Okay, what's gonna happen after this? 